It's time for the weekly market update. We were off last week, as you know, here in northern Baltimore County and southern York. We had a wee bit of a storm, so there was a lot of damage done. So last week was kind of a lost cause for a whole lot of folks. Uh, power just came back on. Even here in my office, we didn't have power for like four days before it got restored. Tons of damage from the wind. And even a few homes got damaged. Hopefully you are safe and nothing happened to you or your property. Let's go ahead and get right into it and see what we're dealing with this week. So in Baltimore County, uh, the coming soon actually jumped up about 26%. Uh, newly active in the market did drop by 20%, but I think part of that may have been due to the storms that were coming up or rather that hit us. Uh, price decreases stayed about the same. Uh, we did have a good sized uh, dip in pending and under contract and closed even with uh, both being in at 156 each in Baltimore County. Uh, withdrawn did have a 100% increase in withdrawn. Withdrawn usually means that somebody has pulled the house off the market. They haven't canceled the listing. Maybe they're making some updates, but there was a little bit of a spike there. I would attribute that more likely than not to the damage that we had from uh, the winds and the weather, and they're probably just getting their property kind of tidied back up and ready for showing again. In Harford County, uh, coming soon, just 28 of them. Uh, newly active, did have a small drop down to 45. Uh, price decrease, did have a third, uh, a lower, sorry, almost 30% decrease in price decreases, which means not as many homes were getting a price decrease. And closed, there were 50 closed properties in Harford County. Again, pacing, outpacing rather, the active listings coming onto the market. Same thing occurred in Baltimore as well with the 156 transactions closed with only 130 coming onto the market. And as we look down into York, we are seeing a small decrease in coming soons. Again, school's getting ready to start up, so uh, things are a little bit slower. Uh, newly active, there were 114. 121 properties, though, did go pending, so we're still putting more properties under contract than we have coming on the market and closed there were 103 last week. So all in all, the market has been relatively the same. There has not been a ton of changing. I know the interest rates did go up a little bit in the last week, um, but we're still dealing with the same thing that everybody else has been dealing with in the area, which is low inventory. So with low inventory, even with a higher interest rate, we are still seeing multiple offers on properties and properties are still going off the market relatively quickly. So this update is as of August 14th. We are halfway through August. Uh, we will see you again next week when we give the next market update. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe below so you get these updates every week. Have a good day.